Hi there. Now, here we've got a question based on histograms, the height and width of, of a particular bar that we draw. So if you'd like to uh, have a go at this question, haven't had a chance to read it, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. And as usual, when you come back, I'll show you how I would go about working it out. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now, the first thing I'd want to do is just draw a sketch of the histogram. Now, it's not an accurate sketch, but what I know is that if we look at the class interval from 30 to 60, we're told that it's represented by a bar of width 1.5 centimetres. So just mark that in as 1.5 centimetres. And it's also a height of one centimetre. So marking that bar in then, we'll just have, say, something like that. And we've got then that the height here is one centimetre. Now what we know is that the class width here is 30 units, the difference between 60 and 30. And we know that the frequency of this in interval, 30 to 60, is 10. Okay, so I'll mark in 10 there. Now we're going to look at the interval that we've got to uh, work out the width and the height for 70 to 80 group. Okay, so let's just say that that's 70 there and then 80 is here. And we've got a bar then, something like this maybe. And the frequency in here is 25, so I'll mark that in as 25. Now we've got to work out the width in centimetres, which I'll call W, okay, across there, and the height in centimetres, which we'll say is H up there. And what I notice is that this width, class width here, is 10 units. So it's clearly a third of this distance here. So we should be able to get W quite easily. It's going to be a third, 10 thirtieths, a third of 1.5. And so if we just introduce this here by saying the width W equals a third, we get a third because we compare the class width 10 to the class width of 30, 10 to 30, and it's of 1.5 centimetres. And a third of 1.5 centimetres is going to be 0.5 centimetres. Now as for the height h, what I know is that the frequency here, 25 compared to 10, is 2.5 times more. And frequency is directly proportional to the area of the bar. So therefore... The area of this bar, given by W times H, must be two and a half times the area of this particular bar. So if I write that in here, we've got that W times H must be equal to two and a half times, that's because this is 25 compared with the 10, two and a half times the area of this bar, which is basically 1.5 times 1. Well, we know what W is, so we can rearrange this for H. So H will equal 2.5 times, effectively, 1.5, and that will be divided by W, W being 0.5. And if you work this out, what you get is 7.5, 7.5 then centimetres. So I think it pays just to have a sketch here, but that's up to you, okay? Um, I think it helps just to see what the problem's all about, how we can compare widths, heights, and areas, okay?